Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we are going to continue with the Java programming interview questions, Java coding interview questions. And in this video, we will be seeing the Java program to print the Fibonacci series. So let us first understand what is Fibonacci series. And before that, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then please do hit like button, share it on the LinkedIn profile and tag us if possible. So what is Fibonacci series? So Fibonacci series is nothing but it's the addition of the previous two numbers. So now if you will see the first number is zero, <clears throat> sorry, the second number is one. So the third number will be addition of the previous two numbers. Okay. So one is zero plus one. And then the fourth number will be the addition of the second and the third number. So one plus one is two. Then comes three. Okay. Next number will be five. Next number will be eight. So this is how the Fibonacci series will be printed. Now we have to achieve this via program. There are two ways to print the Fibonacci series. One is using the for loop concept, which we will be seeing in this video, that particular approach. Another is using the recursion. Now in an interview, when you get this question that you have to, you are supposed to write a program to print the Fibonacci series. If you are confident with any of the two approaches, then you can ask the interviewers uh, that there are two approaches to solve this program. Which one would you like to go for? Right. And then if they are suggesting that you can think by yourself, so you can take one of the uh, approach and write the program. But it is 100% guarantees that that after you write the program in one manner, with one solution, they will ask you, which is the another solution, which is the another approach, right? So make sure you have an idea of both the approaches in an interview. They can either explicitly tell you, okay, you have to do, you have to solve this program using for loop or using recursion. They will explicitly tell you, or they will leave it up to you. And then they will ask you the another approach. So in this video, we will be covering the for loop manner. What we will do is we will take any one integer, right? And we will be going for for loop. So in the for loop, we will be starting with one. I is less than equal to 10. Let's take the numbers up to 10 and I plus plus. Okay. Now, once we write this for loop, then what will happen? After running the loop up to n numbers and Fibonacci series up to 10, 20, whichever you get in an interview, we have to add the numbers. Okay. So how will you add? So you would need two variables. Understand this is the main point. This is the main logic, which you have to take care. So understand it very carefully. You will take two variables. One is Let's say we take a another variable we take as b and we assign the first two values to each of these variables. Let's say I take a equal to zero and b equal to one. Okay. Now what would happen if you will see we are adding the previous two numbers and we are getting the result in the third number, which means you would need the third variable. So totally you would need three variables to play with these kind of addition okay in c you will keep a plus b clear now every time i have to add them okay so if you see a and b is this zero and one right then again one plus one is two so every time we have to do this addition so what we will do is we will take this thing within this loop itself I'll write this program in an ID. This is just for understanding purpose. I am showing you the logic first and then we will write the program in Eclipse. We'll run it and you will be able to see the output as well. So C equal to A plus B. Now there is second thing that will come into the picture. Now, if you will see what is happening earlier, A value is zero. B value is 
1 and you get C value as 1. Now if you will see for 2 you have to add B and C. Okay. So now what is happening? A value is getting redundant. It was valuable until we got the first C. For second C again you need now B and C to be added for this value. Okay. So now what we will do is we will swap the numbers because every time we want A plus B, right? But we have to leave this digit behind, one digit behind and we have to move further. So we will swap the digits. We will swap the values of the variables. So what we will do now is will assign B value to A, right? Whatever the value of B is, that will go to A. Shift 1 back and the value of C would be assigned to B. Right, so every time this will be running. So there are two things that we just understood. Let me quickly summarize it. First is it's the game of three digits. Okay, so you would need three variables to play with. There is already a program that is uploaded of swapping the two variables without using the third variable. You can use that. You can see that also. And in this, we are actually having the third variable, right? So what we are doing is we are playing with these three variables and every time as the values are moving to the right side, we are also assigning the values of the variables to their previous variable. So for example, earlier A was zero, B is one. Now A needs to become one and B needs to become one as well. So what we will do, we'll assign C value, which was one to B, B value to A, right? Earlier this was there in the first iteration. In the second iteration, we are doing this assignment because we have to ensure every time a plus B is working fine. So we'll have to swap those variables. It's straightforward, simple. Now let us write this program in Eclipse. Let me share my screen. Let's create a new class. FIBO. Okay. Finish. F for FIBO, F for finish. But no, still the program is not finished. It's still the beginning of the movie. Abhi to party shuru hui hai, right? So now, uh, where were we? So first of all, let's declare three variables. Integer A equal to 0, B equal to 1. Okay, we'll have to write this explicitly. And then we'll come with for loop for integer i will start from 1. i is less than equal to 10. i plus plus will have this flower bracket. c equal to a plus b. Okay, what is c? So that is again the variable integer c equal to a plus b and will also swap okay so value of c would be assigned to b value of b would be assigned to a so integer a equal to b and b equal to c now let's keep system dot out dot println Or let's keep print for now. C. Okay. And this was for loop. So let me close it here.
see you are getting 1 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 5 8 5 plus 8 is 13 13 plus 8 is 21 21 plus 13 is 34 34 plus 21 is 55 and last is 89 so this is the program to print the Fibonacci series using for loop there is one more approach using recursion that we will be covering in the next video but stay tuned for more updates and please hit the like button and share it among your friends network on linkedin and tag us if possible so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates